US President George Bush has welcomed a decision that paves the way for former members of Iraq's Ba'ath Party to return to public life. The Iraqi parliament passed the law allowing lower-ranking officials of Saddam Hussein's old party to be reinstated in the civil service and military. Thousands of Ba'athists either lost their jobs or were removed from government, for government after US-led forces invaded Iraq almost five years ago. Hoda Abdelhamid reports from Baghdad. It was one of the first edicts of Paul Bremer a law that marginalized hundreds of thousands of Ba'athists, even those who joined the Ba'ath party to simply earn their living and had no political role. Now, most of them can resume their jobs. After months of wrangling, Sunni and Shia lawmakers approved a new accountability and justice law. Only 143 out of Iraq's 275 <coughs> lawmakers were present during this key session. Under the new law, Low-level members of the former Ba'ath Party can resume their jobs in the public sector. Senior party leaders will not be allowed to get any government jobs. All former Ba'athists will be granted a pension. The de-Ba'athification law is considered as one of the main factors that initiated the so-called insurgency. Many of Iraq's Sunnis, with no future prospects, joined the fight against the Americans and the Shia-led government. Reversing it was one of the key benchmarks set by the Bush administration to bring about national reconciliation when the Baghdad security plan was announced last year. Prime Minister Maliki came under harsh criticism for the lack of political progress. Lately, the American commander-in-chief, General David Petraeus, had warned that the security gains achieved so far couldn't hold if there was no real political will by the government to bring all factions into the fold. It all comes at a time when U.S. forces are engaged in a massive nationwide offensive against Al-Qaeda. So thousands of people now can earn their living again. This new law is certainly a positive step towards national reconciliation. But opposition parties are already warning it further isolates the senior members of the Ba'ath Party. And that could have the reverse effect and fuel the violence even more. Hoda Abdelhamid, Al Jazeera, Baghdad.